self-titled debut CD. Please welcome Alexis on Fire. <laughs> What's up, cats and kittens? This one goes out to Greg Below. Get well soon. But Mike are treated like gold at the city's finest hotel, the Fairmont Royal York in downtown Toronto. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome George Pettit from Alexis on Fire. Paul, well, before we go, I just want to say it's really cool that we're on with um oh. The guy who's not the guy who's not Dawson, um, Josh and Jackson. Okay, yeah, it's really cool to be on with him because uh, I don't know on tour. <laughs> on tour, oh, I just feel terrible now. But anyway, on tour we used to do this thing where uh, we'd get the kids dancing. We'd go up on stage and we'd be like, "All right, when this song starts, we want everybody to reenact D2, the Mighty Ducks." This half of the room is Coach Bombay, and this half of the room is Wolf, the the dentist Stenson, and he was like in that movie, so it's really awesome. Yeah. You know, that was a big part of. You, you know, us getting kids rocking. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have to ask, uh, how'd you come up with the name of the band? Oh, okay, um, we get this one a lot, and uh, I don't know. It's Dallas, our guitar player, was watching a documentary on, uh, on like, uh, dancers from Nevada and stuff like that, and, like, contortionists. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interpretive folk dancers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's exactly what he was going for. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, he was watching a documentary on that, and, uh, and so we, like, there was one called Alexis Fire, so we named the band after her, and uh, we went to her website later, and we found out she was a, a lactating contortionist, stripper slash porn star. Wow. So, uh... Boy, it sounds like a busy girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she's got a full agenda, I'm sure. And, uh... <laughs> but, um... But yeah, I don't know, it's really funny now, because people go to the website, uh, and they go to alexisonfire.com, and they, they see her, and they're like, I don't think this is what I'm looking for, yeah. and yeah, but yeah, we went with theonlybandever.com, so... Alright, alright. Now, uh, obviously you guys get pretty active on stage. Does anybody ever get hurt? Or? I know it's yeah, we all get like physical up there. Yeah, you know, everyone gets like scars and stuff. Everyone has their scars and it's, you know, it comes with a job and stuff. Like, I, don't know, I hurt my wrist up really bad at the last show we played. And like, you know, one time we played in, in, uh, in Brampton and 
and uh, Dallas took a guitar. Are you from Brampton? Anybody from Brampton? What's up? Um, all right, sure. Somehow I sense that. Yeah, you know, we're pretty close, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Wade hit Dallas in the face with his guitar stock, and uh, I turned around and Dallas had blood gushing all over his face and stuff. I've actually got a really bad scar on my chest uh, from... From, uh, anybody want to see the scar on my chest that I got? Sure, we'd love to see it. See, I got hit, I got hit, and it, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty bad. The extent of my wounds. It was a pretty elaborate way that that happened. Oh, it worked you know, out like, beautifully. Worked out. Yeah, it was. It was I, I don't want to go into the details of it, yeah. but it involved uh, it involved uh, three pigs and a, a, a Twinkie wrapper and uh, a bucket of uh, congealed milk. Wow. Now, now I heard about your uh, infamous show at Edge 102. I wanted to tell us <laughs> tell us in your own words what you know happened. There? Um, I, I, well, I feel it's only fair that you give your side of the story. Well, I kind of I kind of like there was this cutout of Dango Jones. And uh, I, I kind of took this huge like stand-up cutout of Dango Jones, and I ran it outside into the streets because Edge Studios are right on Young Street. So I, right. I ran it right out into the streets, and I put it in front of cars and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, in the middle of Young. There. Yeah, and uh, and Gee, your story is remarkably similar to the one the police tell. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's just it. Like uh, it kind of it kind of blew up a little bit. Like I don't know. Like people went on. People were talking about it, and the people would come up to me and be like, "I heard you went to jail," and you know, like, "Oh, you know, I heard they strip search you and full body cavity search and stuff like that." And, not to, mention, it was not to mention the older driver with the poor eyesight who thinks he killed Danko Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, that, yeah. I feel sorry for that. Yeah. Now, where are you off to next? Uh, well, we've got, um, we've got North by Northeast in Toronto. We're playing that festival. Uh, June 22nd at the Opera House. That'll be a great show. Great. Come on out to that. Um, also, um, Scene Festival, uh, that's in the summer in St. Catharines. Go see that. That'll be great. Good. And, uh, yeah, it'll Good. be fun. All right, George, you're about to test your knowledge of this country in the Canadian quiz. Are you ready? Well, I'm ready. course brought to us by our good friends at Canadian Tire who made a Cub Scout very happy today with a brand new bicycle. Oh, yeah, didn't they? Oh, they're nice. <laughs> All right, here's what you could win, George. With three correct answers, you'll win the Motomaster Eliminator Power Box. Featuring two household and a 12-volt outlet, this little box is pure portable power. It even has a handy wattage indicator. Now you can have power anytime, anywhere. Another innovative product found only at Canadian Tire. Good luck. It's good because I live in a tent, actually. That's Marina, one of our producers. We also call her the Eliminator. Okay. What is the, what is the three-letter international abbreviation for Canada? I believe it's C-A-N. Absolutely right. What, what comic book superhero was created by a Canadian? You know, this is, I can see the answers on that. <laughs> Superman, it's Superman. That's I didn't see. Right. All right. Put this up right here. Which, which famous U.S. landmark did Canadians burn down in the War of 1812? The White House. Absolutely I know that correct. One. Absolutely correct. Oh. There's, your my friend. There's your eliminator. Thanks to Thank Joshua Jackson and Alexis on fire. Join us tomorrow night, folks. We've got Hillary Duff. That's right. Lizzie McGuire is here. Lizzie McGuire. Yes. I, an excellent film. I went to rent a kid on the weekend and I saw it. And we've got Michael Smith and All American Rejects. We'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Take care.